My name's Dr. O'Donovan, and if you've been told you need a barium enema, or you're wondering what this involves, then this video is here to walk you through it. A barium enema is a test that can highlight the large bowel so it can be clearly seen on an x-ray. It's not used very often these days, but in some cases, it can still be a useful way of investigating bowel problems. In this video, we'll cover what a barium enema is and when it's used, how to prepare for the test, what happens on the day, what to expect afterwards, and the possible side effects or risks. So first of all, what is a barium enema and why might you need one? Well, a barium enema is a type of imaging test. It involves gently passing a white liquid called barium into your bowel through your bottom, so the shape and lining of your bowel show up clearly on x-rays. It's often used to help investigate symptoms like blood in your stool, ongoing changes in your bowel habits, or unexplained abdominal discomfort. Conditions that can be picked up during a barium enema include bowel cancer, bowel polyps, inflammatory bowel disease like ulcerative colitis or Crohn's disease, or diverticular disease. This is where you have small pouches in the bowel lining. Now, this being said, barium enemas are done less frequently now, as many doctors prefer alternative forms of imaging, like colonoscopy, where a small camera is used to observe the lining of the bowel, or CT scanning. But for some people, they can still be really helpful. So let's now talk about how to prepare for the test. To make sure the x-rays are clear, your bowel needs to be completely empty before the procedure. Now for this, you're going to be given detailed instructions by the hospital, but essentially you'll be asked to eat a low fiber diet for a few days. This means foods like white bread, clear soups, and lean meats. Take a strong laxative the day before the test to empty your bowels and to drink plenty of fluids to stay hydrated. Now I would suggest that it's a good idea to stay home the day before as you'll need to use the toilet frequently. And if you do have diabetes or you're pregnant, or think you might be, you should contact the hospital straight away because the test may not be suitable for you. So what happens on the day of the barium enema? Well, when you arrive, you'll change into a hospital gown and speak to the team about what to expect. You can bring someone with you to the hospital, but they won't usually be able to come into the x-ray room with you. Now here is what the test involves. Firstly, you'll lie on your side on an x-ray table. A small injection of a medication called buscopan can be given. Now this helps to relax your bowel muscles. Then a soft tube is gently inserted a few centimeters into your bottom. This stays in place during the test. The barium liquid is slowly passed through the tube and into your bowel. Now you may be asked to move slightly to help the barium spread and air may be pumped in to expand the bowel. It's not usually painful, but the air can make you feel a bit bloated, a bit like having trapped wind. Now, the whole test usually takes around 30 to 45 minutes. So what happens after the test? Well, once the test is over, the tube will be removed and you'll be able to go to the toilet straight away to empty your bowels. Most people can go home shortly afterwards, but it's a good idea to take it easy for the rest of the day. If you've had the buscopan injection, your vision might be a little bit blurry for a short while, so you shouldn't drive, and try to arrange someone to take you home. And either way, I would advise this is the best solution. So when you're back home, it's important to stay close to a toilet for a few hours because your bowels may still be active. Your poo might be a little bit pale or whitish for a few days, and that is just the barium that's passing out and it is completely normal. You should be able to eat and drink normally and try to include high fiber foods and plenty of fluids to help try and prevent constipation. So let's now cover the risks and potential side effects. Well, a barium enema is generally a safe test, but like any procedure, there are some side effects to be aware of. These may include feeling sick, bloated, or getting a mild headache from the laxatives, temporary constipation after the test, and in very rare cases, an allergic reaction to the barium. Now, as I mentioned before, it's important you tell your doctor if you think you might be pregnant because you'll be exposed to a small amount of radiation, but this is about the same as what you'd naturally get from the environment over about the course of three years. A very rare complication is a bowel perforation, a small hole in the bowel lining, but this is extremely uncommon. Now, before we finish, when should you seek medical advice? Well, it's important to speak to your doctor if you've got a high temperature, severe or increasing pain, especially in the abdomen, smelly liquid leaking from your bottom, redness, swelling or tenderness around your abdomen, or ongoing constipation or trouble passing wind. 
these could be signs of a complication and should be checked as soon as possible. So in conclusion, a barium enema can be a really helpful way to investigate certain bowel symptoms and look for problems like inflammation, growths, or narrowing. It's not used as often nowadays, but when it's needed, it's generally safe and straightforward, and most people are able to go home shortly after. For more information on this procedure, please check out the description box of the video for more resources. And if you found this video helpful, please consider watching this next video.